everyone. So in this video, we're going to talk about this error message here, where it says information the media is not ready yet. Okay. So this can happen through um, various different scenarios, but I'm just going to go through some of the most common ones, just so you can have a go at debugging yourself. So if you go ahead and go over to your S3 buckets, now if you set up um, a bucket using S3 bubble, we go through and we add all the specific um, requirements needed for streaming within your bucket. But let's just create a bucket. And we just call this OTT um, just to um, test uh, failures. Okay, so just to test failures, it doesn't really matter which region you're in. This is just going to show. So when you just set up a bucket, the bucket is essentially just blank. Okay, so there's nothing attached to it, it's just a blank um, storage space for you to um, add your files to. So I can go into this bucket, and what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to drag a file into this bucket. Okay, so I've just dragged the standard MP4 file into this bucket. Okay, so what we can do is we can go ahead and create a player on this MP4, and there's no cloud from distribution attached to this bucket, so it's just a completely plain bucket. And we can click submit, and then we can go and view our player. So if we go and view our player, it says the media is not ready yet. So let's just go ahead and take this code and copy it, and we'll paste this into our WordPress plugin. We'll just add a block. I'll just add an S3 bubble block and click update. And let's just view this post. So when you first load, if you try and click play, it's going to give you this error message here. So it's going to give you a couple of things to check. One thing you can do is if you right click, okay, and then go to um, so if we go up here, sorry, right click and go to inspect. Then under here, if you look at console, you'll see the errors that it's given you. So if we haven't added a post, though, so we don't need to worry about this one. But you can see this one. It says access to the video from the origin things has no cause policy attached okay now this is because we haven't this bucket was just set up blank okay we didn't use the s3 bubble service to set up the bucket so no cause was no cause policy was added but one thing we can do so if we want to rectify this is if we can go back over to aws storage s3 okay test failures and then if we look at the bucket cause you see that there isn't any bucket cause okay so we can go ahead and go to add streaming cause Okay, so we have our cause rules added, and then we can take a look at our calls just to check that they're there. Okay, so they're there. And now, if we want to refresh the browser here, okay, you should come down and you'll be able to play your video um, without any issues. So you can see that that was a cause error. So that's kind of a common one to check is cause. Another one, common one to check is naming um, conventions. Okay, so if you if all your videos are working but one specific video isn't working then check the naming convention on it we always suggest that when you name your videos you use no space you just use um, alpha text um, 0 to 9 and um, underscores okay so if your file is intro space uh, colon um, percentage you know all the special characters and then mp4 then you're more than likely when you try to encode this video you'll get issues okay so naming conventions is very important make sure you stick to um, strict naming conventions of just uh, letters numbers and underscores okay it's really important to do that if you do it through s3 bubble we do this for you but if um, AWS doesn't actually do this you can pretty much drag anything into an s3 folder okay so one thing to note as well is if we were using um, cloud front which you should definitely be using cloud front uh, to stream your media. CloudFront caches your media across the globe and serves the um, serves your media from the nearest point so it speeds up um, it speeds up uh, delivery. Um, so let's go ahead here and then let's look at bucket policy. Now we have no bucket policy attached so when you add a CloudFront distribution okay um, what happens is your CloudFront distribution needs to be able to have access to this bucket and to do this it creates a policy and policies are stored in the bucket might be a bit confusing um, but just think of a bucket policy as a way for your bucket to talk to CloudFront okay so let's go ahead and we'll just create a CloudFront web distribution on this bucket a completely blank bucket okay and we'll give this a second normally it goes a bit quicker than this but I'll just wait okay great so it's, it's come through and it said do you want us to update the bucket policy for you okay now we definitely want it to do this because if we don't click update then it's not going to be able to talk to our S3 bucket okay so we're going to update Okay, so that's successfully updated okay now if we run a refresh here it should show you that we've got a CloudFront distribution and you'll need to wait by it's deployed so what we can do is if we go over to the bucket go to intro and we'll create a player again 
and what we'll do is we'll add the CloudFront distribution that we just attached here and click submit. Okay, now it's going to go over to our bucket. Okay, click copy. Again, we've got the media error, which is great. That's what we want. Okay, now if we run a refresh again, okay, and then just give it a second to load, and then try to click play. Now this is going to give a different error, which says the error, the name is not resolved. So that all this means is your CloudFront distribution has not been deployed yet. You have to wait for it to go from, um, well, you have to wait for it to be enabled. So let's just go ahead and we'll just take a look at our CloudFront distributions. Okay, so you can see it's in progress. So if your CloudFront distribution is in progress, it means it's not actually loaded up yet. So you're going to get errors, okay, because you can't actually access it until it's gone to in progress. So we can just keep refreshing and you're going to keep getting that error. And there you go, you're just going to have to keep waiting. So what I'm going to do is I'll actually pause the video while the CloudFront distribution deploys. Okay, great. So as you can see, our CloudFront distribution has now been deployed. So if we click play, then the error has gone away. So all that was was just a matter of having to wait until your CloudFront distribution has gone to deployed. Now, CloudFront distributions can take a whole range of different times depending on regions, etc., on how long they take to actually get deployed. So let's go ahead and go back over to our storage. And there's pretty much three things that you need to check, okay? First of all, you need to check that if you're using CloudFront, you need a bucket policy. So you can tell which CloudFront distribution is attached to this bucket policy by if we use this, the, ac the origin identity, okay? The access origin identity. So this is the CloudFront origin identity. So let's go to um, our CloudFront distributions, okay? And then if you um, type in origin identity, sorry, let me just take that out. You can't actually search for it but we know it's this one okay but let's just check okay so you can yep so you can see here this is the same access origin so you can tell that this has been connected to that bucket okay so you need to make sure that your CloudFront distribution is connected to the bucket with the correct policy okay might seem confusing but it should all make sense if you just follow the right procedures so your bucket should have if you're using CloudFront you should have a bucket policy okay any type of streaming you should have bucket cores okay and bucket cores you can attach here add streaming cores and naming conventions now the thing is if you set everything up with a delivery bucket with s3 bubble so if I just type in OTT um, failure oh, I'll just put um, work in uh, delivery deliver okay and we'll just put it in here now what we're doing here is you know we manually just created a um, we added bucket cores and we manually created a CloudFront distribution. This does everything in one setup, okay? So it gets you all fully set up. Now we understand a lot of the errors come from people with existing setups and they want to get their buckets um, up and running. So you need to make sure that you have everything set up. But if we check our bucket policy, okay, you can see we've got a bucket policy and it would have created CloudFront distribution here. So you can see it's created a CloudFront distribution. It's attached it to that bucket using a bucket policy and what we've done is we've also added bucket cores okay so we've set everything up that you need for streaming now this will um, solve about 90 percent of the errors where you get the media is not ready yet okay so just go ahead try these out make sure you also check the names of your files that's quite a common one people are using spaces colons etc and they can cause, always cause issues but also come in here right click inspect element and it will show you the errors you have here in the right hand side okay all browsers have the same um, inspector tool so you can do it with pretty much any browser so I hope that helps any questions drop us a line at support at s3bolt.com